Hey everyone, I'm back with another video for you. So if you've watched my channel for a while, you would know that I've made multiple videos supporting Jake Paul. Now, for the record, I do genuinely believe that Jake is the best YouTube boxer right now. However, don't let that twist my words. I'm not saying that I like Jake as a person. I just respect him for his boxing ability. So for those of you that want to call me a Jake Pauler or Jake fanboy, you're wrong. In this video, I'm going to be discussing why Jake Paul is well he's pissing me off right now now jake gets a lot of stick from people saying that he's not a good boxer and that he's basically fought no one who's a competition for him and that when he does eventually fight ksi that will be very different and ksi will drop him because he is an actual worthy opponent but a lot of people they're missing the point when someone is training to become a professional fighter boxer or anything like that they have to have hundreds of amateur fights in order to get to that professional level but because jake is already in the public eye he doesn't have that chance to do amateur fights the only way he's been doing amateur fights is what he's been doing so far his amateur fight build-up has been deji Anderson Gibb and Nate Robinson. He's basically doing what every fighter would do if they wanted to turn professional. He's taking amateur fights because that's how you develop into a professional. And some people are saying that now he needs to fight some professional boxer, someone that's like a really high level. But you have to remember, he's only been boxing for like two to three years. And if you're an amateur, that's nothing. You should be you should be training for like seven years before you become a professional. If you're asking me, Jake fighting KSI is pretty much exactly the same as him fighting Deji or Nate Robinson or even Gibb. This basically another amateur fight and another win he could get underneath his belt. It doesn't really mean a lot. Like the rest of you, I've seen Jake knock out Nate Robinson and I know some people are going to think that now I think that he's like some world-class incredible boxer, which he's really not. I don't think that at all. However, you can't take away the fact that Jake did knock Nate Robinson out. Like, he knocked him out cold turkey. And that's very difficult to do that unless you know what you're doing. After Jake knocked out Nate, I would have happily carried on supporting him for his boxing adventures. I would have supported him chirping at KSI because it's funny and he has every right to do that. Personally, I think after Jake did beat Nate Robinson, he should have just gone back into training, developed his boxing ability again, even better than it's ever been before, keep calling out KSI and basically hold out and wait to that fight so that then when it comes to that fight time, he's had so much time to prepare. But no, that's not the case. If you've been looking around on social media, you would see that he has caused so many problems recently. He's basically destroyed all the respect that he's gained from beating Nate Robinson. Now, from what I can recall, I've always said that I respected Jake's boxing ability. I've never said I liked him as a person. And what he's been doing recently is one of the prime examples of the reason why I don't like Jake's personality, as well as pretty much everyone else on the internet. Now, he's been calling out Conor McGregor. Now, fair play if you want to fight McGregor because, you know, Logan Paul is fighting Floyd Mayweather, so Jake may think, yeah, you know what, I deserve to fight a class fighter as well, so I'll fight McGregor. But there's a, there's a way in calling someone out and Jake's just not doing it right. The thing that bothers me is Jake is just being so disrespectful to McGregor. The problem is, is Jake is being so disrespectful to Conor McGregor. If you haven't seen this video, let me just roll you a quick clip of basically Jake calling out McGregor. McGregor, I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash. Proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history. After seeing that, I don't think you could say that that is pre-fight talk or building up the hype for a fight. That's just being disrespectful entirely. And the problem is, right, is if you live in, if you don't live in the UK, you have no idea how patriotic Irish people are. He's like a symbol for Irish people. He's like the face of fighting. So after this video, if you didn't know, an Irish mob has threatened to kidnap Jake Paul. I am not making this up. I promise you that's true. And for those that think this is just an empty threat and it doesn't mean anything, well, if you lot want the KSI and Jake Paul fight to go on, you have to remember, JJ is only going to want that to be in England 
And if you think the Irish people for making them threats won't show their face when Jake does arrive to England to fight JJ, you know, it's going to be a big problem, isn't it? But, you know, it's not just the Irish who are angry. It's like the UFC as well. Dana White has basically said, no, this fight will never happen. Shut up. I mean, even, I mean, look, even Nate Diaz has, has posted. He says, Jake, you need your ass beat for free. You spoiled fuck. You can't really fight, you dumb shit. You can't really fight, dumb shit. You're going to end up with your ass whooped for real somewhere talking shit like that. I completely butchered that. There wasn't even word for words, but you get the point. <laughs> The thing is, right, is, look, he's pissing off Dana White, he's pissing off the Irish, he's pissing off Nate Diaz. Like, it, he's just digging his own grave. Like, with Logan, people won't care if he loses to Floyd Mayweather, really, because it's like, yeah, they're being respectful about it. But if Jake carries on talking all the shit he's been talking, people are going to want him to lose so bad and when he does it will destroy his chances to get future fights because everyone would just say look you're the idiot that was chirping you were the one talking smack and you got your ass beat it would just be really difficult for him to get fights in the future and if i was him i'd just stop talking right now and stop being disrespectful because to be honest with you, you don't really have bragging rights. You're still kind of an amateur. If you're wondering, has Conor McGregor responded? Well, the only response we've got is, it's not a direct one, or it's just kind of putting two and two together. But basically, Conor McGregor put a picture on his Instagram of him uh, with boxing gloves and headgear. Whether that's like a message to Jake, I don't know. It's probably not. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I don't think McGregor would ever fight uh, Jake Paul. There's not enough money in it. I just want to end the whole Jake versus McGregor thing by saying, look, I think Conor would kill Jake Paul. Like, you have to remember, Conor McGregor is a trained killer. He doesn't care about your feelings or your accomplishments. He doesn't care about anything you've achieved in your life. When he gets in the ring with you, he wants blood. And that is what he gets pretty much every single time. He's a vicious scary guy and for mcgregor to beat jake i honestly think it would destroy jake's boxing career before it's even started because if you can't even back up your own shit talking no one else is going to take you seriously if jake was to ever fight mcgregor you have to take into account mcgregor is he's quick he's a very fast fighter his defense is um, incredible his power jake has never experienced anything like his power it's just dangerous like for him to be ch like he's jake's talking about fighting the wrong person jake you need to be fighting amateurs like you have been doing keep on that road and just build yourself up slowly people aren't going to take you seriously if you're calling out big names straight away like you've had two fights professionally like just calm down a bit so one final thing before i let you go i also saw on snapchat that this kid got beaten up by Jake Paul's crew. Now, there's no claims that Jake swung any punches or anything like that, but like, what is going on? I just wanna set the record straight. I don't support Jake Paul's behavior at all. I think the fact that he's going off the rails, calling Conor McGregor out, being disrespectful to him and his family, his crew beating people up. I, I, you know, there was a time where I was supporting Jake for him doing the whole amateur and YouTube stuff because that was fun, but this is just like, this is just stupid and ridiculous at this point now. You know, I support the whole YouTube stuff, but now, I don't know, I don't agree with what, he, what he's been doing recently. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, why not give this video a thumbs up? And if you're new and you like this kind of content, why not subscribe to this channel? And whilst you're at it, check out my Instagram. It'd really be appreciated. You can DM me there because I can't respond to all the comments for obvious reasons. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.